gather them, gather them, right? So, it's the start of the Six Nations, right? One player out of each of the sides got to do a test. They got to swim across this shark-infested lake. The first one in was the Englishman. Two strokes, he's eaten by a shark. Next, it's the Welshman's turn. He gets a bit further, but he's eaten too. The same thing happens with the Frenchman, the Irishman, and the Scotsman. All gone. Now, the next one in is the Italian. Sorry. He jumps in, he comes out the other side, not a scratch on him. I said, how did you manage that then? He said, look at the back of my T-shirt. I look at the back and it says, Italy for the Grand Slam. Not even the sharks will swallow that. Why was there a Russian swimming for Cleveland? And how do they get the sharks in the lake, man? <laughs> well, you have him, Phil. That's not Phil, man. That's Jonathan. Yes, yes, yes. Jonathan Wales, 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 Wales. We you betting on Greg? Bet it's for mugs. <laughs> Jacket. Here we go, there they are. The back with the Christopher Eccleston. Attention, please, as you can see from the summaries in front of you, the ship had one poor sign for the really interesting bit. There they are. See, Eccleston. Find a way under any other business. The North Sea, a satellite detected a signal, a little blip of radiation at 100 fathoms. I there's something down there. You were just about to investigate. Next thing you know, this happens. Spaceships, pigs, massive diversion from what? Excuse me, do you mind not farting while I'm saving the wood? Which you're rather silent but deadly. Minister is an alien in disguise. That's never going to work, is it? No. Fair enough. 